How's it going guys? Right now you're watching some of the random gameplay in the background and uh, so I got some pretty bad news to talk about Starfield and also Elder Scrolls 6, the two upcoming games that was uh, you know announced in 2018 Z3 in the Bethesda's press conference. So basically <laughs> I can't believe that I'm actually have to talk about this it's about their engine, their creation engine, that's what they call it anyway. So, like, for example, like the creation engine was a, it was actually a damn fine piece of kit for Skyrim game, but that was back in the 2011, and that was in the older gen consoles, just so you know, the generation back when, then. <laughs> Now, in the newer console generation, we're on top of tiers devs like Rockstar and Naughty Dog, gives us the Red Dead Redemption 2, The Last of Us Part 2, that will be popping up later on. And it's clear you, like, Bethesda obviously needs an upgrade. Sadly, here's the bad part. Todd Howard spoke to GameStar earlier in 2018, before Fallout 76 decisive reception brought to the following quotes to the light. He pointed out that going forward, the team will still be using the creation engine. And, uh, well, I mean, he did mention that uh, Fallout 76 has been changed a lot with its engine, right? Compromising a new rendering, a new lighting system, a new system with the landscape generation. He then dove, uh, drove into more of a Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6 saying more changes will come. But that would like our editor and it all, it just allows us to create worlds really fast and the modders know it really, really well. Now, modders knowing it really well, that's that's great. I agree, community definitely needs to have this such a great um, engine because this engine is extremely easy to tolerate, it's easy to work with. Hell, in fact, I'm not a modder and I know how to use it. It's that simple, guys. I'm sure most of you will get it straight away within a day yeah, it's in within a day and you'll be good to go, know what to do, what to put, how to use it, more or less, basically. Obviously not every keen on of, of it, but I wanted to get in that just saying that Todd Howard has mentioned um, in the interview in GameStar uh, that they are comfortable of using this engine because it's very, very efficient on time. But this is not a result of actually having the quantity or a quality. That's very concerning now the fact that they can just simply you know reuse the assets all the damn time right copy paste copy paste in very very simplest term and pretty much there you go quality is here quantity my apologies the quantity is here but the quality is missing that's not what people want what people want is a memorable bethesda game to be in the high high standards just like Skyrim was at the very beginning of its launch, and truly was. It was a fantastic game. Uh, people loved it, and I, I can definitely agree with them. Fallout 76 has so many problems, and one of them, I'm not going to get into every single problem. You already are familiar with all the problems that it has. In fact, I made quite a few videos about it as well. Check those out, by the way. And uh, the biggest problem of it all, and one of them anyway, is the outdated engine. As I mentioned, they have changed it a lot, making it, you know, better in some ways. That's not what you want. That's not what they should be concerned about. I actually think that they need a brand new engine starting from scratch. Now, granted, Starfield might be already halfway in its development. It's already too late to scrap it all because then we have to wait for another two to three years for it because the delay might be happening, right? Maybe. Okay, I understand, that's fine, I get it. Sure, release Starfield with the same old... Oh, fuck me. The same old engine that nobody really likes. <laughs> that's super out outdated. Now, I'm sure they're gonna make improvements once again, just like the, the for Fallout 76, but that's just not substantial. It's not good enough, to be honest. With before Bethesda game, not talking about. Anyway, they will release Starfield with the same old engine, the creation engine, that's what they call it. And after that... Uh, Elder Scrolls 6 will be their next game. For Elder Scrolls 6, scrap everything that you're doing and start developing, start making a brand new engine, or at least buy from somewhere, or get it from somewhere, partner up with someone, maybe get from Guerrilla Games. Hell, go for the, um, what was that called? Unreal Engine 4. 
My god, imagine. Now, granted, Unreal Engine 4 actually has its own problems. God damn, every single game out there that they are based on their own developments of their engines have their own disadvantages and, of course, advantages. Make upon it. For example, the Unreal Engine was used for the Mass Effect Andromeda. It, had, it was in the nightmare development because the engine never really, you know, uh, co-opted on the open world type of games, right? So it was difficult. Now, also by where is, I believe so, is using this very same engine and they're making Anthem. And why not? You see, it works. So you can actually take it and use it, right? Well, I mean, you can just take it. I'm sure there has to be a lot more work that, to done with that. Okay, if they don't want to go with that route, as I mentioned already, just simply make a brand new engine or like completely start from the scratch for Elder Scrolls 6. Don't continue working on it from the very old outdated engine and just, you know, call it a day. It's not how people want. People are expecting for Bethesda big things and expecting something like this and it's just like what am i what am i seeing here why is this such a disappointment it seems like nobody really wants that to be honest with you and using the very same old engine since what well, uh, fallout 4 skyrim engine that was updated that, that to that standards just still is gonna have its own problems now i'm they already have mentioned this quite a few times and i'm repeating myself again they're saying that it's just very efficient. They, um, the guys, the developers, they know how to work with this engine. They know how to mod it up. They know how to make it as efficient as possible, you know, to save up time. I get it. That's good. But that's not the point in here. Sure, take a little bit of longer time to create your games. But you got to improve your engine or people are just going to be unsatisfied. And I'm always concerned. And it's just not just simply annoyed. You know what I mean? Fallout 76 is a great proof of that. Fallout 4 in the 2015 when it was released, people were already concerned by the graphical look of it. And I'm one of them as well. But that's okay. We can, we kind of can, ex like, you know, we can ignore it in 2015. Now, Starfield will be popping up. Fallout 76 came out, disappointment. You gotta admit it really is like how it looks anyway with full uh, with the creation engine anyway it is a disappointment to be honest anyway well then f uh, next game will be starfield they're gonna be using the very same old engine that they actually need to get a new engine or completely make it from the scrap a brand new different engine that can support them make it efficient as possible but better looking one as well at that now uh, just as well Starfield, if it's going to be a, a game, a new IP for Bethesda, they're going to be making it. And uh, if it's going to be hit, I, pre I presume they're going to make sequels out of it. And if they are going to make a, a sequel or the next game for it, like a next adaptation or whatever, which, whichever the route they want to take. As I mentioned, go with the new engine. Sure, it might look substantially different, may even play it differently again. But that's just a necessary road to take. Risks are necessary in a development if you want to try something new or implement something new for the com community that were and are still expecting you from you from Bethesda big things <sighs> anyway this is a really is a disappointment like what Todd Howard has to mention about it it's funny because they start a new interview but People started being concerned about Fallout 76 and then Todd Howard has mentioned, I believe it was in June, the interview that has happened earlier in the 2018 anyway. And uh, basically he has mentioned that they're very happy with this engine and the developers know how to use it and efficiently as possible. And also for the modders, it's easy to, uh, you know, to use anyway. And it still is a concern because modders can, they can always adapt, they can always learn. Developers, they can always learn, they can always adapt, hear the same story. Sure, we'll, they will definitely need more time to learn it, to develop it, to create something with it. I think that delay is always a good thing than rushing the damn game, that using the outdated sources, outdated engines, tools, that it's like um, Young Ye yeah has mentioned a, a very good, uh, you know, comparison, more to say. You know, take a car, an old car, and you just keep on implementing new parts into it. 
one of these days is kind of going to completely break down that at this one point you just simply want to buy a totally brand new car. It's a great point. By the way, check his videos out. are fantastic. Great to listen through. Always professional. Uh, good, uh, guy knows what he's talking about for sure. Anyway, I think I'm done rambling. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I feel like Bethesda are digging the damn hole for them. And at some point, I, they're just not going to be able to get out of that damn hole. Well, like and subscribe as always, guys. Uh, more videos will be popping up soon. I believe there will be another video popping up tomorrow. Uh, well, actually, the next day, the next day. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you go. Have a good one. And yeah, peace out.